Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Today we're continuing our trek to Mythic. We are doing a kind of speed run as fast as we can uh, to Mythic rank. Uh, we're trying out a bunch of different decks while we're doing it. We're not just picking a tier 1 deck necessarily and grinding 100 games with it. We want to try out a couple different decks, tier 2 decks, fun decks along the way to kind of get through that journey. We are doing this live on YouTube uh, for a live stream, so you'll see chat and stuff come up. I'll try to do these a couple times on the weekend as well to interact a bit more with the community. So we are continuing. Uh, we got almost to Plat 2 earlier this morning, playing some Fight Rigging and Boros Control in Standard. We're going to switch over formats. We are going to try out some updated Is It Wizards, a list that's kind of been going around uh, on Untapped, and it is including Snapcaster Mage, uh, the old uh, favorite uh, card of mine. I played a lot of this in paper. I started playing competitively during Innistrad RTR standard, so this card holds a lot of weight to me because I used to play a lot of control as well. Uh, Nefalia Drown Yard specials, Snap Bolts kind of specials in Modern at the time, so it is a very aggressively slanted Is It Wizards deck. Um, so you have things like uh, Symmetry Sage that buffs up other creatures with Magecraft, uh, gives it base power 3 greater. Uh, Soulscar Mage has Prowess. You can flashback spells with Dreadhorde Arcanist or Snapcaster Mage. There's a lot of ways to buff uh, Arcanist power, whether it be Symmetry Sage or Balmor, which allows you to flashback more expensive spells. This particular version of the Wizards deck, it's not looking to do like expressive iteration stuff. Instead, you want to kill your opponent fast. So. Bunch of Burn, Wizard's Lightning, Static Discharge, Play with Fire, Reckless Charge gives a boost and haste. Uh, we're also going to try to take some extra turns for one mana with Piece It Together as another way to kind of get some value out of it. Uh, so just a lot of cheap kind of cantrips, some bounce with Fading Hope because Atraxas are going around with Reanimator decks, uh, and a Singular Mentor's Guidance. Mana base, we got some Dens as our creature land, so Kazan Atawara. So let's give this a go, see how it plays out. I'm always interested to see if uh, the new decks actually hold their weight, like the new cards. So we'll give this a go, and then we'll probably play some more of my mono green stompy list and explore. Um, probably hit one of every format today. Might play some Alchemy Red as well. Someone got number one Mythic this month with Alchemy Red, so my my it's one of my favorite decks. I know people aren't fond of Alchemy, but... I got to number one in August last year with that deck, and it kind of holds a special part in my heart. So we're playing Joey G1005, Battle of the Joes. Keep this hand, looks pretty solid. So we want a couple more spells just to get some value, but Soul Scar into Balmor can unleash a whole bunch of damage. On the play looks good. So Divine Purge card we don't see. So Rock Veil. That's actually really nice. Let's just ch chump in some damage. Werewolves in this economy? So... I have a couple options here, and I th think it's just control the board. Give the boost here. I could have like set up the attack and then snap uh, back. Hey Jerry, I have not. I'm missing uh, the. The Grixis, uh, the the Demir dude. Uh, what's his name? The one that comes back, the reoccurring one. All right. Well, Werewolves isn't really a deck, but that's a very explosive start. It's on the list. Um, I gotta. I'm trying to just play through, get my Mythic, and then we'll try out some Bruise. Or once we hit the floor, because we're halfway through, then uh, once we get to Diamond Four, then I'll play a little bit more um, untested decks. But there's a list going around. I posted it's like over here. There's one. Uh, let me pull it up. Luris. Yeah, we'll probably keep this.
I am missing Prized Amalgam is the name of that card. Yes. So this is Hammer Time from the opponent. So they can deal huge chunks of damage. Ah! So we took a chance then not having portable hole. Obviously, that sucks. Shadow Spear, I'll come down, I'll give him Trample. Need a creature here. Oh. That's uh, not what you want to see. Maybe we should have waited just the configuration of our hand, but... Would potentially lead to a more explosive start. They'll find the Fighter's Class. Or not the Fighter, the uh, Colossal Hammer. Okay, so Static Discharge... Isn't going to do much here, to be honest. They play that, equip cost becomes two. So I think what we're going to do is just Sokuzan, try to catch some things. And blocking. So that's going to auto-equip. Gives him 10 power. We're just dead. They'll have trample. Throw that there. I need fading hope. These have haste so we can get through. Yeah, we're just... Sometimes that happens. We needed them to just not have portable hole. The hand looks a lot different if they don't have it. And we just drew the instant speed removal. If we had the Wizard's Lightning a turn earlier, it plays out a lot different. Um, we're able to, to hit the Kemba before it comes down. And then we kind of hit them again, so... We go first, we'll keep this. I usually like going symmetry early. How's it playing in uh, Explorer Jiri? Are you doing the Saltai version? Okay, so Mirror. Mm. So we're going to hope they don't have Wizard's Lightning here. Play with Fire is a little awkward. I usually like Strangle in these decks. Royal Eruption. Okay, so... It's a budget consideration. Okay, so we draw land. So intensity here, once we get to four, we get to take an extra turn. It's a frothy coffee. I'm having a couple of those a little annoying. So that's intensity three. Uh, draw if... Instead, take an extra turn. So, we're just going to pass this turn because I have access to Fading Hope. If not, I'm just going to consider, but it gives us some options. Uh, notably, I have to do this on my turn because the piece it together is a sorcery speed spell.
So we'll just consider here. I think I like the Dread Horde. And I actually think I'm just going to do this. If they try to burn it, then I have access to Fading Hope to bounce it back to hand. And then we just do it again. And if they don't... I think I want to hit a land here, or Haste. I can see Angels being a tough one for it. Um, okay, so we've already seen three burn spells. Let's try this again. There's just a lot of upside if I can attack with this Dreadhorde. I don't know if this gets me the extra turn. So this next one will. So now we'll... Snapcaster back, take an extra turn. And then I can go land, play Symmetry Sage, Static Discharge, Flashback, Static Discharge. Um, so I can play with Fire. I think we do this. I think they're getting priority from the Castle of Antris. Okay, that one felt better. The snap taking the extra turn there helped let us set up. We were a little bit stuck on mana. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I think, like, Explorer, there's a cut... My problem with Explorer Best of One, it's very hard for your deck to both be competitive against Angels and Greasefang at the same time. And then you end up in these kind of awkward positions. Um, this hand's a little slow, but we're on the draw, so maybe we keep it. We have removal early if needed. This is Hammer... Nope, Life Gain. Okay, so... We will have to kill Trellosara here, just because it's going to get outside of my range of damage. Okay, that's actually good, because then I can... No, no, no! I cast the wrong spell! No! No, it was supposed to be Static Discharge. Ah. That was dumb. So I can dis I can kill the Ajani. It's Pride Mate. So I don't want to give him the extra life. Problem is Ah, that's gonna cost me the game. Misclick. Um So I th think it is kill this, play this, say go. 
Take six. Ah, that's so annoying. We had this game too, because I killed that and then I'm in such a good spot, but... Okay, so... No lifelink this turn, but next turn they will be able to. We're taking nine. Go to two. It's terrifying. But I think I can clear their board. No, I'm short one. So reckless charge leaves me one behind. Balmore chumps, but they gain the life, and I'm just dead. That was a misclick. Yeah, buddy, calm down. You gotta think sometimes. So that was just a misclick. I was supposed to kill the thing. We can deal three or four, but once it gets to six, it just doesn't work out timing wise. And we had to take off the life linker because they could have infinited us. That one's annoying. We probably win that. Because we take that off. Eh, back to the drawing board. So, I think... I think we just play this out. This is Junt Delirium or Gruel Delirium, maybe? Unholy Heat. So they're close to having Delirium active. So I can take out both their creatures, which looks pretty good here. I want to keep up Fading Hope. I actually th think this turn... Do I take the extra turn? Because that's going to be able to eat at my graveyard. I think we go for the card advantage here. So for Delirium, they have Land Creature Instant. They do try to kill something here. I have access to Bounce. So we have some protection. Um, I think we just Bounce here. I want to set up my Scries. So I'll get to take an extra turn. So I can cast this one from my graveyard. I can bounce that, which I think I still want to do the bounce. Um, but that'll get me the spell, so I don't really care for that. And go face. Yeah. And then take an extra turn, and then just do a whole bunch. The turn spell's pretty good. One mana, just incidentally draw you cards. Like, if I'm not clicking the wrong cards to play. We're three and two with the list. Should be four and one. How's everybody doing in chat today? As a reminder, folks, um, for the entire month of April, all money I make on YouTube, all YouTube revenue, I'm donating it to Toronto-based food banks, so giving it away to the poor. Uh, this hand is sketchy against Luris on the play. 
This hand is much better. I think we get rid of Balmor. So if you want to help support the channel, just watch any of my videos. Okay, so this is Boros Burn, most likely. So all my creatures are probably going to be dead. So I am going to save this Arcanist to when I'm able to get some value out of it. So I'm going to Reckless here. So they play Eidolon, they play Swiss Sphere, they play this, they play Kumano. So hopefully this gets them to commit a little to the board. I'm able to sneak down. Dreadhorde here. So for one mana, they can't actually hit anything. But they did get DRC active. Okay, so... That's actually not... It's not great, but it's not terrible in the sense... Because now I hit the Wizard's Lightning, which is good. So I can do this. That lets me stitch together. I can Wizard's Lightning. That'll hit me for another three. Take the card draw here. We're taking a little bit of a risk, all things considered. If they have a haste creature, it's a big chunk of damage. But next turn... Okay, so Eidolon comes down. So I can actually bolt... Eee, that's scary. So I can bolt this, go to attack, bolt... Then I have three in the air that I'm taking. I can bolt this. I can't flash back the bolt this turn though, so that's fine. That gives me a blocker, but I could snap a bolt, take four, have two blockers. So maybe just do that. This is starting intensity three, so I don't get to take an extra turn. And the thing is, I need to do this on red. If they didn't have idle on, and they got two counters, just like the perfect mix here. I think I'm dead anyways. Because I take... Yeah, I'm just dead. I need him not to have Eidolon. If they didn't have the Eidolon, I was okay. I'm able to block. We took a chance. Maybe it was right that turn to Wizards Lightning, but they had the... Because the thing is, I couldn't use Snapcaster for added value, so I kind of lose out on that. But maybe it was just Snapcaster, have the blocker, and kind of go from there. Uh, so we go first here. 
going to lead on... So Jengantha will have a harder time with Sage. I should be playing Jengantha Companion. So here... Just pump through a bunch of damage. Eight damage turn two. I got I forgot to add Jengantha. We'll add that. There's no reason to not play it. See Soul Scar. So all things considered, that's fine. This will let me... Cast Dread Horde. Obviously wish we had the, the haste in hand, but... They need two burn spells to clean my board. They could easily have Wizard's Lightning and like a 3 damage, 2 damage there. Dread Horde with Haste could get back Play with Fire. So they can chunk in some damage, but... They're just dead. Cool. We basically mirrored each other's. Hey Joseph, how's it going? What free info? Boom, 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 boom. Oh uh, yeah, I guess Zingantha, Zingantha gives away free info. It might be right not to play it, because you pretty much always know your opponents on... Like, you're going to guess your opponent's on Wizards more than you're going to guess your opponent is on, like, Niv or Reanimator. Reanimator's starting to play it to the Atraxa version because they don't play anything double pip. It might be right to still play it. It's like, okay, so are you going to get the five minute? Yeah, yeah, with the companion. No, I realized after I asked. Diamond Gamers. Playing some Diamond Gamers. Opponents first. I'm going to try this. I like Okay, well... That needs to die. Do we just do it now? Okay, opponent's trying to jank us. This gets... A whole lot of damage. I'm just gonna play it safe. So, equip creature has plus two on reach whenever it deals damage. Yeah. I'm gonna kill one just to be mana efficient. We'll take our chance here. 
the uh, Kahira. Yeah, Kahira is always... It's funny if you're actually playing, like, team or elementals. Whenever it's dealt, uh... Let's just kill that now. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. That was just the, like, don't get Cigar to aid. You can win the game, you have two one-mana burn spells, you just don't get janked out of the game like we did the other game. Alright. Slightly positive win rate with Wizards, we punted a couple, but all in all, not too bad. Um, so I'm going to wrap this one up for Wizards.